Hey guys, welcome back in another video in Creative Funding and this video we learn how you can create a simple game like Minecraft. So in here we can easily add block and we can easily remove the blocks. Also we can also add different type of block by clicking the keyboard number. Okay, and we can create a simple Minecraft game in Unreal Engine. Some of YouTube videos are very useful so you can also watch these videos if you want also in my video uh, you can learn the whole thing and you got the whole source code so you can also use in you can easily create your game so for example here you can see when i click the p buttons uh, it will be can create uh, the blocks okay you can see uh, the pipes you can see the left sides of the five five number showing uh, we can change by six seven four and it will be display or create uh, some different type of block and we again hit p and if we mark that location uh, it will be can destroy okay so it's been that we can add the block and we can remove the block too so let's go in unreal engine and let's see uh, sorry we are already in unreal engine so let's see that how you can create this before that you must need to create the block section so here you can see i create the different type of block that nine blocks i create so for example let me show you how we create a one block so first uh, let me show you the demo so in here i just add simple a cube and on the cube i just use the standard content and just change the materials okay and after that on the event section i just uh, give data that on the cube been hit okay i just get from here that when the component been hit by projectile the first person projectile so you can see uh, now you have a question that why why is the projectile we are don't seeing the projectile so i will tell in later how you can invisible the projectile so here after then hitting the projectile uh, it will be destroyed itself so it's mean that when we shoot the bullets or it touch with the bullets it will be destroyed so you can understand that we can add and we can delete the blocks also so here's the delete data okay lots of youtuber don't show that how you can uh, delete the uh, blocks after then the creating the block okay like in minigraph how we show it after then doing all these things uh, let me show you that how we can create a simple block so for that go on right mouse blueprint actor and after an actor we said the block name that block uh, block 10 well, so the block uh, sorry and we have ck block 10 and okay uh block 11 okay block 11 okay after uh, 111 say oh, okay 111 okay not problem then we just add a simple component and add a cube okay here is our cube now we just adjust the location because we must need that uh without that it will be can adjust and after then uh we will just change the materials so here is the material section uh let me select some materials uh, from standard um, content so maybe this one is good for now okay this one is good so here's our materials now we go on the event sections and just remove these things and also these things and now we click on the cube and click on here that being hit and now we search cast to first uh, cast to fir the first person projectile so here's the projectile class we just add with other actor and after then we will just set it destroy actor okay so here's the destroy actor and here here is the data that how you can create i give you all the source code that you can easily uh make so you don't need to add this whole thing okay so i will give you the source code and i also in the last i show you that how you can use the source code so after i'm doing this thing you need to save it and here is our block 11 is come now we go in the blueprint section and our first person project and on the first person project uh, now we need to add the block data so before that here you can see on the event begin pages uh, added data or a event that I uh, delete so it's uh, it's the, the delete is that when our we have delete permission or not so the delete will be active with the p collection so for that let me show you uh, where is the p uh, p p p keyboard so here here sorry guys here. so here is the p keyboard that uh, when the p is click first time it will be give an off to the delete section if we hit second time it will be give permission to delete so on the event begin play it will be get the data that yeah we can delete okay 
So here you can see after done left mouse cl uh, click it should be first verified that can we delete the blocks or not okay and if we ca uh, if we can uh, we don't need to delete the block uh, it will be what it will be do is get the first person character and after then it will be take the first person camera and it will be get the get world location we just uh, copy this block and paste here and after then uh, here you can see get a forward vector we search, just search that get forward vector and add with this uh, it is the vector okay so let me show you that uh, when you just uh, click th this one shift plus uh, the number 8 so you find this so then you find this option that vector plus float you need to just add like this okay then after that you need to just add a vector and just plus with that and after then giving the value in here so you need to search the line uh, line track by channel okay make sure that you drag with this like this line T R A C K track okay here line track by channel name okay you need to just add this one okay make sure and after then uh, you need to visible this okay make sure that visual this and set it track complex and after then draw debugging type known okay uh, if we give it like a draw or frame rate it will you can see the direction that which direction it's hitting and then we will add this data that on hit so on the break hit we search just break hit so we find this result and we on the location we get the uh, break vector okay and we just search a snap with grill just drag just add like this that as an snap so you find this option that snap with grill and just add with this first one and second or y equal to second one and third one equal to second one then you need to create a simple uh intro block that a uh, size it is the maintain the size that what is the block size will be at so in my case i just set it 100 okay and after then 100 uh, it will be just add like here which just i add just like this just add it and you find this three type of options or blocks after then we i just make a make vector okay and you need to set with this x y z and you need to create a make transform and just connect with this after then doing all these things you need to create like this so uh, i know that if you see like this thing you will be confused so much to, so th for that i just give you like this so on here uh, we need to get a new you need to create a more block and the more block you need to create a block data on the block data uh, i need to give equals so it's mean that when the zero equals if then it will be verified that r uh, it's true if then it's true what it will be true is here you can see spawn uh, the block okay so we can set our block like 11 or 111 then we set the transfer location is that our make transform okay i just input with this i just connected with this because i have so much block that i have ten, nine blocks different type of blocks i can switch by this so you can see now uh, by here uh, you can also create like this like block event block second if you uh, if then else like this just you need to set the number that zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so it's a very easy so then uh we need to set like here so you can see on the zero button press or the one button press it will be set the block data 0 1 2 or 3 so for that we can set this block data that what is the block data are it's equal or not okay if it equals so not so then it will be true like this code and it will be spawns okay so now uh, we already do this thing so now we I just show you this one that how you can create for the for your 11 number block so just copy this and just duplicate it and just connect it with this and here we set it uh, now when we need to set a keyboard that we can display easily by our number in my case uh, I think it's uh, good for me that f5 okay so I just set it uh f5 maybe maybe okay i can't type okay uh, i need to uh, give the a uh, number data that uh, it's a uh, very different so i give it three free okay so the three three is not equals than the others than the thing we just set this one actor and just duplicate it and after the duplicate here you can see spawn transformation location and we just add with this like just paint with this and after then we just drag with this to our uh, if and condition with true if then it's true okay then we set our block 
so here is our block block 111 and just compile it save it and we go in here like our sections and we here we need to now uh, find that value okay so we need to set a keyboard so in my case i setting f um f5 so keyboard uh, keyboard uh, f5 or you can set a number that uh, it's a uh, not a uh, match so you can see it's uh, in my case i'm finding this one f10 so let me set f10 so now we just again just copy this block and set it here and just add with this and uh, just set the values 33 okay so the data is now okay and on the event section here i you can see the event section i just create a simple event that uh, it will be display the blocks data. so you can see that it's like left sides it will be display the numbers that which are we selected so let's try that our blocks are working or not so here you can see now it's active uh, f10 so now if we put the heat p and here you can see uh, we can easily uh, create our block Okay, it's F10 set. Nice. So let me see the uh, my blocker corrected F10. If I click on F10, uh, it will be set the value data is 33. And if then equals is 33, it will be display this one. So let me try again. So F10. Okay, it's 10 data maybe seeing maybe I just set the same data somewhere. Okay, let me just remove F10 to something else that KY keyboard. Uh, I need to set a different type of block. Okay, let me set F3, F3, maybe F3 is good for me. Okay, F3 saved, saved all. Okay, so let's set F3 okay so here you can see now 33 blocks are activated so if i click now the p and just click on the left mouse so here you can see our block is now adding uh, it's good you can see it's uh, some have bugs uh, you need to just set it some more lightly so it will be worked uh, if you have any question you can comment your comment box so now i just show you that how you can use the source code data so let me show you uh, the source code data like center of point like this so here, here is the source code data of this blueprint okay here is the whole blueprint data so let me show you how you can use this so you need to just go on this one you need to just download and see click on ctl plus uh, c uh, sorry ctl plus a so you can get the all codes then click on the right mouse copy this code and go on the, your blueprint section on the first person camera uh, event graph and just click on right mouse and then click ctl plus v so here you can see the data is come but don't worry then again click and again click this once and here you can see you find the whole code very goodly that how i show and how i copy how i make this you find the whole code so i hope it's easy for you to create this whole in one you don't need to set like this whole you need, don't need to add this whole thing i hope you like my video so please like subscribe channel hit the bell icon if you have any type question you can comment in the comment box and guys thanks for watching and thanks for seeing the video i hope you really like my video thank you so much guys okay so please like share subscribe if you like my video for our next video please like share subscribe channel okay thanks for watching guys